y'all a genius i'm so good at the sims makes no sense hello friends i hope you're doing swell and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is alexis i would love it if you stuck around so i know a lot of us are so excited about the four rent pack i know that i am so i thought for today we can build like a duplex i don't have any source material that i'm kind of coming up with this so i'm just kind of thinking about the duplexes here in tennessee and i'm just going to build something that i can kind of regurgitate from memory so we're over at the 18th Celebration Way over in San Sequoia and this is where we'll be building our duplex for today but I'm thinking as well maybe we can build a duplex here and then we can also create like a little stage of townhomes as well and it can just be like a little lot for multi-family type of play so that's what we're going to be doing for today I love this world I think it's just so pretty and it's also kind of realistic for us to maybe have like a duplex right here and then I'm thinking on this side maybe we can do like a row of townhomes and we could just have like a bunch of different families living going over here I do have a leprosy challenge that I have on my channel that I'm currently like playing on and off I think it'll be fun for us to have the whole family live over here so if you're unfamiliar duplexes are basically like one house and they split it into usually two here in the south but sometimes depending on what part of of the state you're in or wherever you are globally they can be split to like multi-family homes so you can have a huge mansion and they can split it to like four different types of homes but I think for today we're gonna do just like one basic home and then we are gonna split it into two to have a family live over there and I kind of want to do it this and then I think I want to make one of them just a tiny bit smaller just to get whoop, not that small hold on give it a, a little bit more dimension to it so it's not just two boxes they're a little bit different now I don't think I want to do like an upstairs and downstairs situation I think I want it to be a one floor house but I was watching Satron Sims last night and he gave some really good tips on like some really cool ways to do roofing so I think I want to use those tips that he said and let's see if I can I can do it I think I can he took like one of these hipped roof pieces I believe or half hip I think I want to do something a little bit different I like to use some of the tips that some of my favorite creators and another person that was so good at building y'all Sid Mac I think that's her name on YouTube it's just Sid Mac her name is Sydney but she is such a phenomenal builder like I aspire she seems like such a sweet person too so I love watching her content but I watch a ton of simmers I'm not gonna lie I do not discriminate I watch all different types just because everyone has like a different style anywho I think I'm gonna put should I put one of these pieces now I don't remember what he did after this so we're just gonna have to improvise and see <laughs> that's so ugly no I can't do that that's so ugly Okay, hold on. Let me figure this out and I'll come right back and I'll hopefully have a plan on how we're gonna roof this thing. Okay, so I can't explain to you how I did this. I basically made a little bump out right here and then I put this circular roof. I did one of these traditional like gabled roofs across and then kind of have it tucked underneath a regular gabled roof. And then on this side, I have this half hip roof in the center when I made that little wall sort of. And then I used two of these half gable roofs on the side. So hopefully it looks pretty decent um like i said we're learning together but i wonder how this is gonna look i kind of like that let's do should we do it in a different color though maybe in like a black Ooh, i like it let's do black cute 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 okay i feel like i need to move this back just to hair so let's actually move the house i'm gonna also go in with like some fences i don't know the style of the house right now but i want to use some of like these little tiny fences and then give them their own like little pathway and walkway so we can do something like that and it makes me want to remove this tree i can just stick it over there kind of want to put this like further back on the lot this lot is very skinny so we don't really have to have too much of a backyard maybe these like houses over here can have like a common little shared space out in the front so we can do something like that so i was thinking of maybe putting some tile but we can also maybe utilize some of this 
So maybe they have like a tiny garden up front and then this house, they have like a little walkway situation. But maybe we can use that really pretty red door and that could be the more modern home and this one can be like a traditional home. So if it's a traditional home, maybe we should just go for like a plain Jane type of door and we can have it centered. Kind of want to do that brown color and maybe that blue. So that door is from Base Game and then this door is from Eco Lifestyle. I'm almost positive, yeah. So if we're gonna do more of a modern build, let's actually just go by Eco Lifestyle and we can place all of those really pretty like fixtures and windows because they have a lot of really cute stuff. So maybe we can have the kitchen like towards the front and then we can have some of these big windows right there. And then maybe we have three big windows back there and then, ooh, or we can have a sliding door. That would be really nice. What if we do a sliding door on that side? Then we just have two windows over there. I think I like that. And let me see about, yeah, changing the color to be a little bit darker. It's so hard to kind of like find the right one because if I look right there, like <laughs> it's kind of hard to find a matching one. I like that, but I feel like I need something else like right at the top. Use those little breezeways or we can use, I don't think I like that. Use one of these. It's a strange looking house. We can figure out what else we want to put up there. Or maybe we can put like a little awning or something. Cause I never use these. And that, that could work. So let's go and find some windows for this. And I want it to be a little bit more traditional. Um, so maybe this person bought the bigger half and they just gutted it and they want to kind of revamp it since this is a new world. And maybe this is like an older couple and they want it to, to be a little bit more traditional. I'm thinking maybe we use these for base game and we can put three of those across and then maybe we can put like two right there and then we can also give them a little outside door i don't think there's any they got this little sliding one that could work but it looks really like new so kind of want something that looks a little bit older maybe something that matches the color as well and <laughs> none of these really do so maybe we'll just use that one and we can stick it off the edge as well okay and then i can add some more windows as we go but i don't really know the layout of the house so i don't think i'm gonna add too many more as of right now but for this house it's very vibrant and bright so i think i want to keep that theme going on um we could utilize some of this eco lifestyle at the bottom and then maybe we can use some brick or something at the top or some stucco. Kind of like the idea of using brick. Maybe we can use brick at the bottom down here. Or maybe we should make it all brick. I was trying to see if I liked that other one, but I think I like this whole house just to be brick. I feel like I should bring this down some, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. Cause if I mess with it, then I'm not gonna know how to fix it. Okay, so let's also, because realistically, wouldn't the duplexes, we can like change them up from the inside, but wouldn't they kind of be the same all around? So let's do that. And then I'm gonna create some type of half wall and then we can decorate it differently, of course. But I think we need to put like a little half wall right there to give them a little bit more privacy. So mailbox wise, we have some from Snow Escape as well from apartments that might look the best. So let me go to Snow Escape and let's do show me all the things. Yeah, these mailboxes look a little bit better. So let's just add two on those little sides. I like that. So I'm gonna do a little landscaping just to kind of differentiate the two houses and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what I came up for the outside of the house. So this is like our eco girly pop. She has all the eco lifestyle stuff outside. They're self-sufficient with like their solar panels. They don't have a dew collector, so they still use like water, but like power wise would probably use some off the grid items inside or maybe not let's not I just like the aesthetic of this outside I don't want to make it harder on myself than I need it to be so this is like a younger couple maybe over here they got some little boxes outside like some Amazon boxes and then I lighted up their pathway they also have somewhere for them to garden and then on this side I imagine it's like an older couple they got some gnomes outside a little cute decorations they also have some lights to light up their pathway and then I put these like hedges on this side just to give them a little bit more privacy because we might add a window depending on the layout of the house and then i gave them a little pathway that might go to like our little shared common area 
um, if we decide to build some townhomes over on this side. So let's actually start with the grandparents, I think first, because it is a smaller home, I think it'll be a little fun for us to kind of get this house together. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a few saucer lights and just place that down. Um, let me turn off that eco lifestyle filter because my favorite lights are these saucer lights. And then I usually just go back and um, add chandeliers where need be. And let's add a few of these as well over to that side. So we do have this little bump out area right here, um, which I have quite a few things that are clipping inside. So let's go ahead and remove that and I'll fix the clipping in a second. Okay, so I think I fixed the clipping. Yeah, and it still looks pretty decent outside as well. So I'm thinking maybe this can be like a little eatery. So let me just place like, so I don't wanna place filler furniture because I like to just furnish it. And I want this to be a little bit more closed off than the other house. So we can have this as being like, maybe like the kitchen, little dining room and the seating area. Back here, we can have some sort of bedroom and we can kind of make it an odd shape. Hold on, let me figure this out. So I do want those two windows and I'm gonna add some more windows too because we desperately need them in this house. So maybe we can have like a little bathroom situation right here. And then this can be like a bedroom and like maybe a little office as well. And then they have somewhere to go out on that side. And then up here, we can do like a tiny kitchen in a little dining seating area. So let's go ahead and find some doors. I think I'm gonna stick with base game doors just because they are the best, not gonna lie. And let's do like a dark brown one right there. And then if we have guests, maybe they can use it right there. And for flooring, now I do go with like my faves usually, but let's do this cottage living because it's so rich and it's so pretty. So let's do that. And then maybe in the bathroom, we can do a little bit of stone. So this can be like our little walkway area. And I wanna do the little dining room because it's gonna be very, very tiny because this is gonna be um, basically like a, a older couple. So this looks like outdoor furniture. So let me, let's do this from Cats and Dogs. Do these a little rat tan, maybe darker with all of it. Then we can lighten this up again. And I'm gonna place this over in the corner. Oops, that is clipping, like that. So we need to figure out where we want these cabinets to be. We could go in with a few of these from Jungle Adventure. Let's do the fridge right there. I know it's close to the door, so maybe we can move the door over, then have that door right there. We need to do, let's find some better colors first. I think I like those. Let's see, let's see. We can do these from Cottage Living, because we do have the Cottage Living floors. Or maybe we can just use these base game. Do like three of those across. Yeah, that works. Set a scene. I think I want to go with this one. Ooh. Then we can have a prep area, maybe a stove right there. I'm thinking of maybe just having those cabinets go straight across. And we could delete one of those chairs to give us a little bit of extra room. And we can, we can have that kind of looking out so they like face the bay window. I like that. Cute. Okay. So that's our little kitchen setup. I don't know what we can put over here. We could put some like um maybe some bookshelves or we can put the bookshelves back there but i was thinking maybe we can make like a little area for them to like sit i want a two-seater but i also want it to be cute that is my problem <laughs> let's do that because this has some very like vibrant colors kind of like that and i always use the same lamp which is the one from tiny living just because it's the best so maybe we should try to find something that's a little bit different what is this? Oh, that's cute. That's from Growing Together. And I haven't used that just yet. So let's go ahead and use that. And I need like a kind of skinny long rug because these are gonna be a little bit too big. We could do this and size it down. And this is from Dream Home Decorator. We could do it in a little vibrant color and then look for a really pretty painting to put on the back of this wall. We could do like some, I feel like they would be like hip grandparents. Whoa, that is huge. What if we do this cute little dog one <laughs> from Cats and Dogs? Yeah, I like that, okay. 
and then I think we have enough room for us to also put like a plant and this is one of my favorites it is from the base game and I think it's just so cute so we're gonna use it then going into lights I don't know the vibe but I'm just gonna put like a cute chandelier down and I love these this is from growing together I like those a lot I think I'm gonna put this over on this side cute okay perfect so on this side we definitely need another little saucer light just because it's so dark and maybe we can probably stand to get a little window also like a little window above there so let's pick out a wallpaper because I honestly forgot that I didn't do a wallpaper and I'm thinking of something a little bit more traditional. So let's go to Parenthood because they have some really pretty ones. So we can do that all the way across. And then we can do some type of, oh, well, actually, let's do like a pretty tile. Oh, I like that. Let's do that for the bathroom. Let's plop it on this wall too. Cute. Okay. So that is their little seating area as well as their little living room situation and then let's go over to the bedroom we got quite a bit saucer light so let me add this little saucer light on this side so i think i want for their bed to be sorry for all the whiplash maybe the bed to be on this side and i want to look a little bit older since they're going to be an older couple I'm thinking like a bed like this and that is from horse ranch Ooh, i like that and I think Horse Ranch also came with some really pretty side tables. Yeah. So let's add. Now I got to get my little little canister of dreams. It is, they have two. So they have one from Tiny Living and they also have one from Paranormal. So adorable. And then since I'm not going to put a bookcase in this house, I'm just going to give them some little books right there. Okay, so we have green and yellow in the comforter. So I'm going to search by green and yellow to see if I can find... Maybe I want to go vibrant. I don't mind mixing patterns, but something is also telling me maybe we should go. No, we're going vibrant. <laughs> That's like something is telling me that maybe we should go a little bit more subtle, but no. Let's place that like right there. And I wanted to find like a little ottoman to put on the end of the bed. So I'm going to go by Dream Home Decorator because this is the one that I was thinking of. And it doesn't really match but we're gonna make it match. I like it still, so let's just do it. Okay, and then on this side, we need to have some type of like little desk area. Okay, so this is what their little office is looking like. Maybe they work from home, but I like how cluttered it is. Maybe they're a retired professor as well, so I put some of those little school things up there. Maybe that's the campus they taught at and they do things from home. So I'm thinking maybe we need to put some type of wardrobe over on this section, and I don't know which one that I wanna use. So that is where we're gonna try to look for one together. I do really love these built-in ones, but I just forget to like add them to places. So maybe in the next house, we can try to figure out how to add that. But this has been one of my favorites. Not gonna lie, I think it's just so stunning. So I think I'm gonna use it, and I'm gonna use it in that default swatch. And then we can add like a little mirror or something over on this section. So right above the window, maybe we can move this over just a hair more. I want that door to still be functional, so I might need to, yeah, delete one of these. So it's a little cramped, but I like it. Let's throw some curtains to make the walls look extremely tall. I feel like we should go plain. And these are the same swatch, just the lighting is making them look completely different. I mean, we technically don't need a mirror because they would have one in the bathroom, but it's nice to have like a full length mirror somewhere. Let's look for some wallpaper. I think I want to go pretty chill with it. Maybe because the room is very vibrant already. I don't think I want too much. So we could do that. And that has like a tiny like little print on it. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Let's do that. And I don't think I like this mirror. I want to try to find a different one because we need something in this little area. So yeah, maybe we'll just place it like on the corner. That's their bedroom. I feel like we should add something right here, but maybe I'll just leave it plain because we have it pretty cluttered on that side. And I like it, I like it. So let's go ahead and do these boring bathroom. My goodness. I usually just do the bathrooms off of camera, but we'll do it together for today. So we need a tub because if I'm an older person, I'm gonna want a tub to soak in. So let's do that tub maybe that brown color this lighting is so dim oh and that clips wait 
Maybe we should just use a saucer light instead in the bathroom. Yeah, let's do that. This is my favorite toilet. I don't know why. I just really like it. <laughs> and we'll add like a little toilet paper roll so they can wipe their butts. And then we need like an old school cap. Cute. Okay, on this side, I think I want to utilize maybe these. And we can make our own little cabinet situation. I think I might have to go back over here. Yeah. Get like a little scene for the mirror to go across and then we can clutter that up. Ooh, that didn't place well. Maybe a little rug. And this one has like memory foam. I'm imagining, because we have one downstairs, like a fatigue, anti-fatigue mat. So I'm imagining that to be what that is right there. And I don't think I'm gonna put any plants. Usually I do, but I don't think I wanna put any this go around. But I am gonna put two little robes. We're just gonna pick random colors. Now let's look for some clutter that we can add. So I was thinking, ooh, I mean, they could have this little cleaning thing with some extra toilet paper. I don't think I wanna use that. I wanna use some new stuff that I got. So this says it's baby, but from this way, it looks like it's skincare. So we're gonna say it's skincare and leave it at that. <laughs> so some skincare, um, maybe some colognes. And then let me see if I can fit something else like right here. Some toothbrushes. Last thing, what are these? Cotton swabs. Ooh, I never use that. I'm still learning how to like all place. Oh, I'm a genius. That's kind of really far up. There we go, y'all. A genius. I'm so good at The Sims. Makes no sense. So maybe that's all the clever they need. We need to put like a painting or something in here. Something that's pretty plain. <laughs> that's really plain, but we can use it. No biggie. Let's put like... Let's put one right there. Cute. And that is their bathroom. I feel like I want to add something right there, but I am holding back and I'm not going to add anything right there. That is house number one. In the next video, we will do the second part of this town home. And then I guess we can kind of just continue to add. Um, maybe in another video, we can do like some uh, town homes right here. This can be like the little duplex. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure those fun things like give it a big old like and subscribe down below if you haven't already, as well as press that bell notification so you can be notified each and every time that I post. I will have some playlists in the description box as well as my vlog channel and my TikTok if you want to keep up with me outside of playing The Sims. But until next time, friends, I hope you're doing swell and I will see you very soon.